My dad's back there working on Estella. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be fixing the brakes on Bonita. As soon as I got here, she immediately just decided about 120 miles away from being in Longview and the brakes went out and I thought it was the, I think it's called the caliper or the piston. You could see that the brake fluid was dripping from there. So I thought that that was it, but I ended up bringing it here, pulling it in the back and after I inspected it, everything seemed to check out and the brakes started working magically. I ended up driving her to an appointment somewhere and on the way the brakes went out again and I saw the fluid was leaking again. So I ended up driving no brakes for a while. After thorough inspection, I figured out that the brake line, the coupler thing at the end, the fitting, was busted off and we have the parts to refit it here, but the brake line itself is too short now. So you can buy this at O'Reilly's. It is, see the brand is Poly Armor. I think this is about seven bucks. This is 20 feet long. I did a little bit of research because I thought I was gonna have to bend my own piping and refit it and everything, but this is actually cheaper if you're just doing this one job. So if you just have a little brake line busted, it's better just to buy this. It's already good cable and everything else. It's a Harbor Freight bending tool here. I have no idea how this works, but we're gonna learn together. <laughs> All right, so this is, says it'll bend on its own, but um, I'm not gonna risk it, I guess. So let's see. It looks like there's three different sizes in here for different things. This is a smaller size. I think it's 3 16 is the size. So we're gonna stick that on here. What lines up here, you can see there, that's a 90 degree bend. That's just where we want it. So it's maybe a little off, but I think we got the basic alignment of the original. And then we're just gonna match it up with this as we go. It's a good thing this is self-bending because this whole bending tool thing isn't working for me. <laughs> so after you are done finishing the brake lines, you're going to tighten everything down. I am not the best person with brake lines, but I got the basic idea. Thankfully, if you buy this one, it bends by hand. So if you're not good with a tool like me, you don't have to worry about it. Now the key is mostly you just want to make sure you avoid all this, hence all the bends. A little contraption. This has a little bit of brake fluid in it. You can actually just use like a water bottle or a soda bottle. This works a little bit better. You drill a hole in the lid and this is just some tubing. It is a 3 16 according to this. It's about two feet long, a little longer wouldn't hurt. And you just stick that right on the nipple and then we can pump the brakes. All right. Afterward, you're gonna have to bleed your brakes. Now this is best to do with two people. I only did it with myself and after driving it, I found out that I'm gonna have to bleed it again. So I'm gonna wait till I can get some help with that. After you're done bleeding the brakes, you're just gonna want to put your tire back on, clean everything up, make sure you top off that dot three. You don't want any air getting into the brake lines. And then you're just gonna take it for a test run, make sure everything's good. If your brakes feel a little spongy, go back over it, make sure everything's tightened down, you don't have any leaks. After checking everything over, if you find out there are no leaks, then you probably just need to bleed the brakes again. Just go back over it, make sure you get all the air out of the line, have no more bubbles coming through that hose there, and then you should be good to go. If you're having any more issues, the best I can say is go take it to a professional. They should be able to help you out, but I was able to do it on my own, and it worked out pretty good. So thank you for watching. Hope this helped.